Good morning, y'all. So I just got back from getting my groceries um, through the grocery, the Walmart grocery pickup. And um, I've got it all setting out over there, as you can see. And before I take you guys over there and show you what I got, I wanted to um, show you this big thing of fruit that we had delivered yesterday. So, you know, I usually get a bunch of fruit and oranges um, and apples are always on that list. And I didn't get those from Walmart this time because we had all of this delivered yesterday. So my son's girlfriend is in the FFA at the high school here. And um, every year they do a big fruit sale to raise money for the high school, for the FFA group. And so I bought all this fruit from her. These are the mandarin oranges. And I think Austin or Anna won uh, had some last night and they said they're really really good and then in this box here is I think this is half a bushel I don't think it's a full bushel but um, it's full of pink lady apples and they look really good as well so let's take a look Matt had one last night and he said it was really good and so the cost of all of this fruit was $49 um, but this is the case of apples so it's a lot of apples but I think what I'll probably end up doing is like making some fried apples or um, apple pie you know just baking with it too which we eat a lot of fruit so they'll get eaten just regular too very cool all right let's get into this grocery haul I know it's still really really cold here where I'm at. So hopefully you guys are all staying warm. I'm going to make um, a white chicken chili recipe. It's like a cream cheese chicken chili for dinner tonight. And I'll probably attach it to this video. So stick through the end. And so you can catch that recipe. And let's get in this haul. All right. So here's what we're working with on this haul. Um, as you can see, I didn't get any fresh vegetables. Um, Matt is not going to be here next week. It's just going to be me and the kids. So I'm probably not going to do a whole lot of cooking next week. Um, so I didn't get any fresh vegetables this time. But I did get lots of fresh fruit, of course. Our usual blueberries, strawberries, cantaloupe, and bananas. And then I also got a thing of cranberries. I want to try to make a... Um, a recipe with these so um, it's a cranberry apple bake so I did get a thing of fresh cranberries to use up some of the apples and make a cranberry uh, apple bake so maybe I'll film that when I get ready to make it and then I got two lemons and two limes just to have on hand for cooking and um, I showed you guys the oranges and the apples already um, and then I got another loaf of this berry sunflower um, pepperidge farm bread. This stuff is so good. It is my absolute favorite. And it makes delicious French toast or just pop it in the toaster and spread some butter on it. I love this stuff. I should have gotten two loaves. I don't know why I didn't because I know this one will be gone in no time. But I love making French toast out of it. It's so good. So, so good. And I got some more coffee. So I usually get the uh, gourmet blend coffee. It's what Matt and I like, but they were out. So I got this Colombian blend to try. We like our coffee strong. So hopefully this is uh, good. We'll see. Um, I got a half gallon of milk, a half gallon of half and half, a half gallon of unsweetened almond milk original and I got this coffee creamer to try it's the coffee mate uh, cinnamon toast crunch creamer I've not tried this before let me know if you've tried it it says it's new um, and what you think about it I like trying new creamers and so I just thought I would give that one a whirl to see and then I also got a half gallon of orange juice and then I got a thing of ketchup because we were just about out. And then I got some honey. And then I picked up some more of the original low-fat vanilla yogurt and original low-fat strawberry yogurt. 
go through a lot of yogurt. Matt and Anna eat it just about daily. Um, vegetable oil, realized on Thanksgiving that I have no vegetable oil. So I went ahead and stocked up on that. Um, I bought a ton of butter in my last grocery haul for, I think I bought two, one of these that has four sticks in it and then one of the packages of unsalted butter that had four sticks in it. And um, I used every single stick, plus I had almost a whole pack of this already in the fridge. Um, so, and I used, I have zero butter right now. So I wanted to make some of the fried apples last night when we got the apples, but I didn't have any butter to make them with. So um, I needed more butter. And I got some of the Sargento Sharp cheddar cheese slices for sandwiches. Um, a big thing of chicken breast. This is gonna go with the white chicken chili recipe tonight. I'm probably just gonna do half and then freeze the other half. Um, a pound of ground beef. Some of these rice cauliflower. So we, Matt and I, love this rice cauliflower and it makes you not miss rice at all. It has the same texture, just it's really, really good. So this is just the plain cauliflower rice. And then this one is the cauliflower risotto medley. It has chunks of mushroom and um, asparagus in it and it's really, really good as well. Anna requested these. She wanted the strawberry shortcake um, good humor bars. She went and spent some time with my mom um, a couple weeks ago, and my mom always spoils her and buys her all the all the snacks and ice creams and stuff like that. And so when she came back, this was something that my mom had for her there, and so she requested that I buy them here. And then also, this is a family size orange chicken orange chicken um quick dinner so i got this to make one night um for me and the kids when matt is not while matt's not here just something quick for us to eat because i probably won't do much cooking while he's not here and then i got anna two more packs of these four pack macaroni and cheese um the little microwavable ones um she's already gone through the other ones and she loves them she likes to take them to school and eat them for lunch and stuff like that and then to also have here i got two of these creamy potato soup mixes it's the bear creek brand i love potato soup potato soup is my absolute favorite soup i love soup in general but especially potato soup and this soup right here is really really good um like it tastes homemade it tastes just like grandma used to make it is so so good highly recommend i always make two packs at a time just so that we can have leftovers um i got another thing of fritz crackers my son tears through these very quickly another thing of christmas tree cakes because they're a good favorite around this time of year and then these are some of the ingredients that I need for the chicken chili tonight. It is two cans of black beans, two cans of whole kernel corn, and two cans of mild Rotel, or you can use the original Rotel, whichever spice flavor you want. And also two packs of the ranch seasoning um, mixes. So I bought these for the recipe, the chili recipe tonight. And then a mega thing of Charmin toilet paper. No, I'm not hoarding it. I did need it. And ugh, this toilet paper is so hard to come by right now. Again, it got better. Now it's getting bad again. And please, people, please don't do that. It's just making a bad situation even worse when nobody can get toilet paper. So get what you need and leave it be. Okay, that, that's my that's my soapbox moment. Now, moving on. Um, I did get some uh, three packs of baby wipes. I keep these in each bathroom. Each bathroom is out, so I needed new ones for each bathroom. Um, a thing of uh, the Scrubbing Bubbles drop-ins. I got these last time. They're in the toilets now, and it seems to really be working, so I wanted to keep some on hand so that I can refill it when it needs it. 
And then I got two things of um, bathroom trash bags. These are a Hero Scent Stripes Lavender. And I usually have been getting my bathroom trash bags from the Dollar Tree, but I'm not loving those bags. They're really thin. They don't stay in the trash can. And I'm just over them, so I went ahead and ordered the good ones from Walmart. One for my bathroom and one for the kids' bathroom. I got some of the Equate Five Blade Disposable Razors. And some of the Command Strips, the three pound Command Strips. This is what I use to hang a lot of my wall stuff with. And I ordered um, some of the bigger ones for the heavier ones, I think they uh, they were like the 10 pound ones, but they were out, so they didn't, they just refunded me my money, but I did get the three pound ones. And I got a big thing of paper plates, the 100 count, and a box of Hefty Strong lawn and leaf bags for the garage trash can. And that's it, that is everything that I got. So I'm gonna put all these groceries away and I'll be back when I get ready to put, to start the, the recipe in the crock pot. All right, I got all the groceries put away, so now it's time to throw all of this deliciousness into the crock pot. I got this recipe off of Pinterest. It's been years ago, and it has just stuck around. It's been with us ever since. It's a family favorite. Let's see if I can find, um, the source that I got it from off of Pinterest and I'll link it in the description. Um, but it's super easy. You can just throw it in the crock pot and um, it's really, really delicious. What you're gonna need for it is of course your chicken. This is a big pack. I'm not gonna use this whole pack. I'm just gonna use, um, these pieces are kind of big, kind of large. So I'm just gonna use three, um, half the pack. I'm just gonna use three of the large chicken breasts. Um, and I also, I double this recipe. so. Um, everything that I'm showing you is a double recipe. So I have to make a double recipe because I, I, everybody goes back for seconds and thirds. So there's usually none left over even after cooking a double recipe. But, um, so the ingredients, the amount of ingredients that I am telling you are for the double recipe. <clears throat> and so two cans of black beans drained two cans of whole kernel corn, not drained, don't drain the corn, and two cans of Rotel spice level, your preference, I use the mild, and not drained. And then you're gonna need two packages of the ranch um, powder mix, two blocks, two eight ounce packages of cream cheese, you're going to need two tablespoons of chili powder, a half tablespoon of ground cumin, and a half tablespoon of onion powder. And that's it, that is everything. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna add in the canned veggies. We're just gonna give the veggies a stir and we're gonna add in our seasonings. So I'm gonna start with the two packs of the ranch seasoning. seasonings. I've already got mine pre-measured out. So again, this was two tablespoons of chili powder, a half a tablespoon of ground cumin, and a half a tablespoon of onion powder. And we're going to give that another stir. Now we're gonna add the two blocks of cream cheese on top. And you don't have to cut these up or do anything, just lay them on top and they'll, they'll melt down and then you'll stir it when it's done. You'll stir it in once it's done cooking and you're ready to shred the meat. Okay. 
And then we're going to add the chicken on top. Just right on top. Just like that. Let me wash my hands. Okay. Now that we've got everything in the crock pot, we're just gonna put the lid on. And we're going to turn it on and cook it on high for six hours. So I'm putting it on high for six hours because it's already 1130. So that way it'll be done in time for dinner. And then about an hour before it's ready, I'll try to shred, or an hour to 30 minutes before it's ready, I'll shred up the chicken and stir in the cream cheese. And that'll be it. So. I hope you guys try this recipe because it really, really, really is delicious. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for those that have already subscribed. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and do so. I'd love to have you and talk to you guys later. Peace, love, and chickens, guys. Bye.